The deploying strategies for increasing access to justice and promoting credible, peaceful democratic processes in Northwest Nigeria projects was a 14-month initiative funded by the UK's FCDO and implemented by Global Rights. The project aimed to strengthen civic participation and peace building in Northwest Nigeria through platforms for women's engagement and participatory dialogues. The project targets communities as Zonkwa, Zanko Kataf local government area of Duna State and Gagi in Sokoto South local government area, Sokoto State. Based on key successes highlighted in the midline and endline evaluations, as well as all the updates reports documented by Project M and E records, the project had recorded numerous accomplishments both in scale and depth. The project supported the establishment of two community dialogue committees and peace building mechanisms in Kaduna and Sokoto states, comprising 50 CDC members, 25 per state. The CDCs have not only been instrumental in strengthening women's involvement in decision making and peace building, but have also played a pivotal role in strengthening civic engagement and increasing citizen participation in democratic processes. Through their inclusive composition and diverse representation from different segments of society, the CDC served as platforms for fostering dialogue, promoting civic engagement, and enhancing democratic processes. The success of this program strategy was further confirmed during the midterm and endline evaluation of the project. The project trained 88 community members on dialogues and early warning. This training helps to ensure the community members' active participation and meaningful engagement. By leveraging their newfound understanding and expertise, the community members became an effective force capable of implementing early warning approaches and fostering sustainable peace in the community. Four women-led high-level town halls were conducted in Kaduna and Sukutu. These town hall meetings provided a powerful platform for women to express their concerns and offer valuable recommendations on advancing participatory governance, promoting women's rights, and cultivating sustainable peace in the Northwest region. A key outcome of the strategy was the amplification of the community women's voices and perspectives. They ensured that not only were these women's issues heard and acknowledged, but they were also to set an agenda for their prioritization. The project implemented the Gender Action Learning System's GALS methodology in two communities and reached 97 households against a project target of 40 households, representing 242.5% indicator achievement. The capacity of 37 civil society organizations working in the Northwest region were also built on the GALS methodology. The deployment of GALS methodology played a pivotal role in fostering a community wide understanding and acceptance of the significance of women's involvement in decision-making processes and ultimately peace-building endeavors. This intervention recognized that achieving gender equality begins at home. And for women to actively contribute to peace-building efforts, their participation in household matters is a crucial first step. The project supported the establishment of the Early Warning Response Coordination EWRC dashboard and app version 1.0. Project M and E records show that the number of warning signs reported through the early warning portal increased from 480 percent, 24 reports per month, at midterm to 3,220 percent, 161 reports per month by end line. This result suggests that there is good progress and early signs of success towards the achievement of the project outcomes of improved trust, synergy, and collaboration between communities and law enforcement agencies. With respect to social media engagement strategy, three highly engaging webinars and three insightful Twitter spaces were hosted to lead the national conversation on the imperative issues of women in security and peace building. The project reached and engaged over 600,000 social media users with civic space content. A key outcome of the strategy is that it has helped to catalyze national conversation and awareness on the issues of women inclusion in security and peace building processes. The project supported a number of community engagements involving the use of car 
with gramophones equipment in both Kaduna and Sokoto communities. A total of 98 such engagements were carried out against the project target of 14 engagements, representing 700% indicator achievements. Each community was visited eight times to raise awareness on participatory governance and women's inclusion. Holding politicians accountable for their election campaigns promises community security and early warning. Four community mobile screenings were conducted, both in Kaduna and Sokoto states, covering a total of 628 persons. These mobile screenings served as platform for promoting increased community awareness of the need for participatory governance and the importance of women's inclusion in peace-building processes. Employing the arts enabled global rights to reach a critical mass irrespective of their level of education or background and communicate those critical issues in a non-threatening manner. Four community theatres were produced in both Kaduna and Sokoto states. The community theatres were able to reach out to 1,184 people. The community theatre, mobile screening and car gramophone in Kaduna and Sokoto states made significant impacts in creating awareness and empowering women's participation. Based on outcomes harvested from various project-related documents, testimonies from the beneficiaries, partners, and community members in project intervention communities, several stories of change have been documented by the project. Overall, the project had contributed to the following documented stories of change. Changed social perception of women's roles and gender relations as a result of involvement of women in peace building activities. Gender inclusion at the household and community level improved significantly. Increased the capacity and legitimacy of women in championing women empowerment and inclusiveness in decision making processes at all levels strengthened the urge for peaceful coexistence and social cohesion, helped to empower women to support their husbands in the households, and improved knowledge of security structures among the communities and increased awareness on how to report cases of insecurity to the security agencies. Overall, the project showed evidence of relevance to the needs of beneficiaries and stakeholders, effectiveness, and positive impact with evidence of sustainability of the transformative gains made within the period. All partners and beneficiaries of the project, government agencies, CSOs, state peace commissions, religious and traditional leaders, and communities unanimously called for the project to continue and they have committed to continue the work generated by the project even after the project ended. On the basis of the stakeholders' feedback and beneficiaries' success stories, there is strong need to make a business case for project phase two. The scaling up appears appropriate given the progress made so far and need to avoid losing benefits already achieved by the intervention.